Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Grateful Mommy of Two Little Kids, and today I'm sharing a list of 10 best products for nursing mamas. As a disclaimer, I'm not a medical professional. This is the information I've collected over time and that has made a huge difference in our day-to-day -day life. I remember when I was pregnant with our first kid, I watched YouTube videos, asked friends, colleagues, family, you name it, uh, for suggestions and advice. And I see other mamas and parents looking and asking for the same information that we did. And now that I'm on the other side, I can share all of my knowledge uh, with other people. I want you to know you're at the right place. You don't need to look any further. This is the best comprehensive list of products and suggestions that you will need all in one place. Now let's begin. So the first one on my list is a pump. I have two kids and with each one I've used a different pump. I did breastfeeding and pumping simultaneously. Initially, Hakka came in super handy to save the letdown milk. So when you first start breastfeeding baby, your body is trying to figure out the baby's needs. And while you are nursing, the other breast starts to leak. Um, Hakka has this suction that you can attach to your other side while you're nursing the baby and you can save all the milk from your other breast. And this was extremely helpful for me to start saving, stocking, and freezing all the extra collective milk immediately. It makes you feel a little good that you're saving it rather than wasting all of it. It is easy to clean and discreet. Um, now for the electric pumps, usually it is recommended that you establish the breastfeeding before you start pumping, um, but it might be different for others in um, different scenarios. So in my case, I use Haka as the collector. Um, for the milk from day one while I was nursing our baby. At around six weeks or so, I started using the electric pump. Uh, Madela was okay, however, Spectra worked better for me. I pumped at night while I was on my maternity leave and then returning back to work, I would take my pump with me in a tote bag, a regular tote bag was fine, and pump it at work. Lots of experience with this pump. I have tried Madela Freestyle and then Spectra. Hands down, the Spectra was the best one for me. There's a uh, Amazon link listed below in description, and you can see the sheer number of reviews making it the best pump out there. I mean, they, there are more pumps that have pump, but this one is still um, the number one. Battery holds up very well for this um, Spectra S1 plus electric pump. I know a friend who had lost power for a day um, due to snowstorm, but the battery held up for almost 24 hours, even when with her pumping every couple of hours. So definitely good battery, good suction. Parts are very easy. Um, you can wash, wash them easily and there aren't too many. And just get spare parts in case if any of them get ripped or you use them, you'll have the extra part. I know um, the duckbill part got tears in them in a month, but as soon as I ordered the replacements, the suctions improved again and I was able to pump more. Also, if you're planning on using pump, make sure you get the other supplies like the milk storage bags, um, pump parts, extra parts, the sanitizing bags, and um, these are the sanitizing bags for the pump itself, and the, not the pump, but the parts for the pump. So you rinse them, you wash them thoroughly, and then you put them in the sanitizing bag, put it in the microwave, and it steams it up, and then you just put it on the dryer rack. And then the wipes. Um, to keep the parts, your pump parts or your um, other things clean. Links to all of these are again listed below in the description section. Now the second um, on our list is a nursing chair and I cannot emphasize enough uh, when you are nursing, um, breastfeeding your baby, it's so important to be comfortable especially for the first few months they are waking up so many times and you will need a place to sit and be comfortable being comfortable is essential to breastfeeding success and having a good nursing chair will help you keep comfortable while nursing so this is the one item we splurge on we bought ours online it was our it is still a rocking reclining gliding chair 
And now looking back, I'm glad we made that choice. Um, I've spent nights on this chair and I was definitely very, very comfortable. The link up for this particular chair um, is also below. Um, next on our list is the nursing pillow. I have used Bobby pillow myself and have been, it, it has been a great addition to our nursery. I have seen other mamas using uh, my, breast, uh, my best friend pillow and it does look like another great option. Links are below for each in the description. Both offer support, um, have easy clean slip, slip covers and fits well on most women. Um, the My Best Friend pillow is definitely, you do need your hands to close um, the little clips that they have. But Bobby, you just put it in with one hand and that should be fine too. I do like the back, best, um, back support on the My Best Friend pillow. Um, Bobby doesn't have a back support. So if you have a nice chair, you're good. I did have two Bobby pillows, one for upstairs uh, for the nursery and one for like, you know, the family room, the main floor. So I can sit in either place and I don't need to go up and down looking for the pillow or getting the pillow. Um, now for the Bobby, you can put it on and take it off one-handed. Um, and like I said, for the my best friend pillow, you will need your hands to both hands to put it on. Number four on our list is a nursing clothes and essential. I was skeptical that I can survive without it, but towards the end, I would say a month or so into it, I realized I, I don't need to get myself some clothes. So pumping bra, if you are pumping, is extremely helpful. Uh, nursing tops and bras and breast pads. These breast pads will come in so handy. And these are bamboo ones, so you can, you know, throw them in the wash and reuse them. They're re reusable. It will save your clothes. Otherwise, if you don't wear the breasts, especially early on, um, you will be saying you have to keep on washing your clothes. And if you don't have enough, you know, tops, um, you will go back to your normal clothes, which is not very helpful when you are nursing a uh, baby. It's not, it's not impossible, but it's not helpful. Next on our list is um, comfort and pain relief. Um, I would not uh, recommend this if I did not use it. This is extremely helpful, especially in the beginning. Um, breastfeeding is, when you are first starting out, it is a little bit, uh, not a little bit, it's quite painful sometimes um, when you're trying to figure out, that, you know, if you somehow missed one session, breastfeeding session, you were at work late, you got stuck in traffic, you were not able to pump on time, um, it just gets very painful. So this cream was a lifesaver. Um, also some um, parent, some mothers uh, tend to have like cracked skin. So this uh, Lensinol cream was very, very helpful. They also, this company also shares these, um, uh, makes these TheraPearl breast therapy packs. These are these circle things you can either um, warm it up or put it in the freezer. Either way, um, whatever your needs are, if you need to just pull it down, calm it down, freezer would be, you know, cold pack would be very helpful and helps um, kind of soothe the breast. Or if you have kind of, you know, the lumps, if you were, if you missed a breastfeeding session or pumping session, you can warm it up and put that on your breast and it would be very, very helpful. Number six on our list is food and snacks. Um, when you are nursing and you'll notice it too, you will be super duper hungry and um, eat your you know, food uh, based on your diet. Um, these lactation cookies help me tremendously and they taste super, super good. Oatmeal also helped me quite a bit. Um, I would eat a bowl of oatmeal and help increase my milk supply. So those were the two things that I would say I would eat every day besides the other things that I ate, fish and uh, nuts and all the vegetables and fruits, but these two were main, my main go-to. Number seven on our list is a water bottle. A good quality large water bottle um, is an, a good investment. I use this particular one, the, uh, I think it's called Takia. 
a 40 ounces bottle because if you are in one place or if you fill it up early in the morning or one time, it will go um, for a long time. And plus, it's nicely insulated, so if you put cold water, it will stay cold for the for longer time. Next one on my list is um, tea. I enjoy drinking tea and I feel like this tea did make a difference. Um, it's called Mother's Milk Tea and it has fennel and fenugreek. Um, some people actually eat fennel by itself too, but this is a nice um, alternative to drink tea out of and it's, it tastes really good too. It's very soothing. Um, so tea definitely is a must for a nurse. Number nine on the list is nursing cover. Um, this particular nursing cover is the one um, that I've seen and I've used it and it's no see-through cotton and it's soft and it's comfortable and it's airy um, and it's quite helpful. And lastly, uh, number 10, we have noise machine on our list. Now, if you are a mother like I was that when you are nursing a child and finally you got a break to sleep for a few hours and um, you give the bottle feeding there's you know the next instead of um, the breastfeeding session you're giving the bottle for one uh, feeding and you wanted to go take a nap if I hear the baby cry I will not be able to take a nap so this noise machine was a lifesaver I would turn it on and was able to sleep for that short time, whatever that short time was. This did help quite a bit. Well, here we go. Um, those were the 10 most um, promising items that I have used. And I hope you find this video helpful. Best of wishes on this amazing journey in life. Know you're an awesome mom, regardless of your breastfeeding decision. And you are doing a wonderful job. I see, and I know um, we all, you know, we all have struggled through this in different part or differently. However, there will be light at the end of the tunnel. So stay strong, mamas, and please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.